We have some new numbers here uh, from Pew Research. This is about religion in America. So first of all, we look at uh, the question of belief in God. So these numbers uh, depress me, not going to lie to you guys. Uh, 63% of the American people are absolutely certain <laughs> that God exists. 63% are absolutely certain of something that they cannot be absolutely certain of. Okay, 20 on top of that are fairly certain God exists. Oh, come on, man. So let's, let's do the math on that. It's 83. So 83% of the American people are either absolutely certain or fairly certain that God exists. That's 83% who are wrong. Wrong, wrong. They're wrong because that's not true. First of all, you can't be absolutely certain of something that exists if it doesn't actually exist. Because then you're certain of something that you're wrong about. So you are wrong. It's like saying, I'm certain that there's a unicorn on my roof right now. I'm certain of it. That's nice. Maybe we should get you some Seroquel or some Thorazine and put you in a straitjacket. Because there's not a unicorn on your roof. There's not a fucking unicorn. So if you say that, people go, oh, you're, you're a little off, aren't you? But if you say, I'm certain God exists. Yes. There's a fucking space wizard that's looking after your every move. Because you're so special with your fucking, you know... I wake up in the morning and I have fucking raisin bran and I take a shit and I go to work and I'm an accountant. But God really cares. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody fucking cares. God doesn't care. There's no God there. Look, I'm being an asshole. I know I'm being an asshole. But I'm being an asshole for a reason. I'm trying to shake people out of their false beliefs and their complacency. Like, you're, why are you okay with just believing something that's not true? Look, I get it, man. If you're somebody in prison and you got nothing going for you, and you need to have that existential blanket to lay on of God, I don't agree with you, but it's your prerogative. Look, it's your prerogative even if you're not in prison. Obviously, I believe in freedom of religion. I believe in freedom of belief. But I also believe in my freedom of speech to tell your ass that you are incorrect. So for the longest time, it's atheists and agnostics who have been shamed. As, shut up! Shut up! Don't you dare question religious beliefs. Don't you dare question something like that. Ever. Shut up. You shut up. How about we don't shut up? How about we can have a conversation? So you want to go ahead and come out there and make your argument that a fucking zombie Jewish carpenter who's three people but he's one person died and came back to life and there was a virgin and there was a burning bush and a fucking talking snake? Go ahead and make that argument. It's a weak-ass argument. Because guess what? Your mythologies that you were born and raised in are no more correct than the mythologies in the other religions that you're atheist towards. You know, you don't believe in, you know, Hinduism. You don't believe in Buddhism. You don't believe in Mormonism. You don't believe in Sikhism. You don't believe in Amazonian tribal gods. You don't believe in all of Muhammad. You don't believe in all the other religions. You get the idea of being non-religious. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Why? I don't think it's true. But with your fucking mythical garbage, I, it has to be true. Why? Because my mommy and daddy were special and they taught me that this is the real one. And I know it's the real one because I like my mommy and daddy and... They're good people. Yeah, they're good people who are part of Hinduism and Buddhism and Islam and all the fucking other religions and Scientology even. They're, I'm sure there's some good people in there. They've been duped by this fucking cult. That doesn't make it right. 83% of you believe something that is wrong. Look, here's the answer to that question. Are you certain God exists? No, of course not. I'm an adult. How the fuck would I know? So either you say, there's no evidence. I don't believe it. I don't think he exists. Or you say, I don't know. Anything outside of that, and you're failing in your logic. <laughs> or you're saying, you know what, I'm just going to put logic aside and say I'm not going to allow it in this realm. This is one area where there is no critical scrutiny. This is one area where I'm just giving myself a pass to believe whatever the fuck I want. Okay, but then don't expect me to intellectually respect you. I respect you as a human because I respect everybody as a human being. But intellectual respect? No. No, you don't get, you gotta earn that, and you ain't earning it if you're saying, I'm certain God exists, when you can't be. Okay, Just let me give you one more. Believes in heaven and hell, 55% of the American people believe in heaven and hell. 17% believe in heaven, but not hell. It's like people just make shit up. 3% believe in hell, but not heaven. 25% believe in neither. So only 25% of the country says, yeah, I'm not a kid. Tooth fairy's not real. Santa Claus isn't real. Yeah, heaven and hell. What are you talking about? There's no evidence for it. What? 
the majority say, I believe in heaven and hell. <sighs> this affects your quality of life. When people believe in magical thinking, it stifles scientific progress. And it stifles smart people improving our quality of life and the kind of future that we have. It's this kind of thinking that leads to, for example, a lack of action on climate change. Now, don't get me wrong. Most of the blame is actually on the, the oil companies and the fossil fuel industry because they buy the politicians to drag their feet. So corruption is the heart of the issue. But if people were really scientifically literate and they cared about logic and reason, they'd go, oh, this is such a big problem that we're going to be out in the streets tomorrow to say no more oil influence on our politics and fucking do something to get us all renewable green technology. So it's the magical thinking that leads to so many problems. And I think people think it's a benign or whatever kind of thing. No, it's you have to explain to people why you think they're incorrect. I have no animosity, no hatred towards all these people. Most religious people are good people. But that's the thing. I respect you as a human enough to tell you that you're wrong. Because you're fucking wrong.